right, guys, here we go. It's reckoning day. Let's see. What in the world did we do over the holiday week and post Thanksgiving? Just yikes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, you guys. That weigh-in was so unexpected. That is beyond what I thought it was going to be. I knew that I was going to be up this week, but I did not, for the life of me, expect it to be quite as much. So, where do we go from here? I can chalk this up to a week of blanking out. As I was telling you in my video yesterday, I really just have had a week where I just have wanted to escape from everything. Just there's things to think about, changes to be made, there's recitals to plan, and I've been doing those planning, but it's coming together. However, just that overwhelm happened. And the crazy thing is, is that Thanksgiving, the day, went very well. It was the days that followed that fell apart. And I can chalk up a 4.8 pound gain to just not working the plan. I don't remember. I, I think someone did a stop, drop, and chug one day on Instagram. And I went and had to find a water bottle. And that was like a mental thing like, whoa, Tracy, you got to pull us together. You don't have your normal. I usually have either a big gigantic Wawa cup of water or, you know, my silver thing. I, I don't even know where those things are right now. So I know that my water game has been horrible. I know that uh, non-existent, not even horrible. I also know that somewhere along the way in my overwhelmed mind, I got through Thanksgiving and then I just gave up like I I didn't even track like I track there's tracking in every day but it's just loose like I, I don't know for sure and then I was still eating a lot of leftovers from Thanksgiving of all the things of I don't really know what these points are but I'm gonna eat it so it's deserved. It's definitely a 4.8 deserved gain. I am hoping and praying that that is not 4.8 true pounds of weight, of fat. I don't know. Um, but I know I only went to Zumba one time this week. I barely wore my Fitbit. When I say I blanked out and just this week has been a blur, I mean it. It has been a blur. I don't... I, this was not a productive week at all. Definitely not from the standpoint of my health and my weight. And so, here's my girl, my planner, my uh, journal that I got. Ooh, sorry, it, it, it's rose gold is blinging, baby. <laughs> it picks up the light like crazy. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I took it with me to my meeting. Your girl's back at meetings. I can't even tell you how excited I was to be there. It, it, I mean, even though when I stepped on the scale, it was horrible, um, horrible to see that. I never wanted to see the 290s again. I never wanted to see that number again. And so I declare to myself that this week is the last week that I see 290 on anything um, in my life. I have been in the 280s for several weeks now. So to see that bumped up is really hard. Now I know that's coming back to a scale with clothes on and you know, that's at Weight Watchers. So I have a little dilemma. Can you guys help me? Let me know what you think would be the best thing for me to do as far as coming back to Weight Watchers meetings. I want to continue to weigh on my scale at home just because it's me, it's there's no variance there's no oh that's my clothes or anything um, so you'll still see those weigh-ins plus I just like the accountability of putting my feet on the scale that day no lies no way of getting away away with anything high accountability works for me but as far as starting back with Weight Watchers I got a new book today and um, they want to reset my numbers. Now, because I'm still showing you my numbers from home, 
it will be weird if I'm like, well, on my home scale, I weigh this. And on Weight Watcher scale, I weigh this. Do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? And what do you think? Okay, so I'm not going to say that I'm going to give you the absolute decision. Um, but what do you think about, should I keep my totals from Weight Watchers from 312 or whatever it is that I started? Or should I just start over again and get all my bling again and do all that stuff? Of course, it'll be with lower numbers and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm still Weight Watchers for life. It's not going to change my lifetime number, ultimately. It will, I think, change how much weight that it says that I've lost with Weight Watchers. But we know the truth. So tell me what you think about that. What should I do? Should I start over brand new week one with Weight Watchers? because it's gonna be different anyway, or what. So, um, I am considering doing a different video. Yeah, I will probably come back and talk to you guys about this plan for the holidays. Really good meeting, really good information. I'll do that so that both of these um, videos can be a little bit shorter for you. So anyway, I am very, very happy to come back into the room and see so many of my friends along the way this year um, to walk in and see my leader Clara and have her remember my name and say where have you been that's so exciting to see you that's so great um, so I am back I paid I, I, I paid the piper I faced it you guys one thing that I keep telling myself today is you know what this is what this plan is about it's about the times when we are riding success and feeling great and then it's about those times when we have to say I didn't do so good but you know what that doesn't make me a bad person that means that I need to reset I need to get back to the basics and I need to refocus so that's what I'm doing today refocusing I'm gonna take my meeting tag off now and get back to my everyday life I've got tons of things to do today happy vlogmas if you are all about that life i am still not sure whether i'm going to be about that life this year or not just considering my present overwhelm feeling probably don't need to add to that but there will be some Christmassy content coming for sure so don't you worry about that so I hope that you did fantastic at the scale if you feel comfortable and you want to leave it in the comments below and let me know how you did this week and um, let me know how I can support you as always I'm always over on Instagram sharing photos and stories and all that good stuff so if you are wanting to connect just a little bit more, I think we can connect a little bit more on Instagram back and forth, um, then definitely reach out to me over there um, at the same name, the way I see it. And of course, if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and do it because I really do love having you around. So if you hit that button, I'll see you tomorrow.